So we'll start now, okay? So we're recording first class of the year. Uh, which questions would you like to see done so far? Anybody for 10? Okay, we got one for 10. Anybody for 13? Fair enough. 16? One for 16, 19. Okay, so one for everything on the board. Perfect. Right, so here's what we're going to do. Shh. Take question 10 as an example, guys. Shh. Shh. Okay. What we're going to do is, I realise they both have A in it, and I realise that they're both divisible by 2. So what can I do? 2 bracket, 2A bracket what? Yes, sir. 9X squared. Good job. Minus? 25y squared, excellent, okay. Now, does anybody recognize what this is here, just the yellow part? Anybody care to tell me? Yes, sir? Uh, they're both squares, aren't they? So they're going to be the difference of two squares. So what is the difference of two squares? Uh, three X. X. Yeah, and 3x. Minus 5y. Yeah, perfect. So what's my answer? Uh, two A. Into x plus 5y and 3x minus 5y. Good job. 3x plus 5y, 3x minus 5y. Are you guys alright with that? Cool. Okay. Uh, next question then is that was question 10. Now we're on to question 13. In question 13, we have uh, x cubed plus x squared y plus 4x squared plus 4xy. Now there's two ways this can be done. You can take the x out at the very beginning, or you can do it out and try and figure out what you need to take out at the very end. Right? What I'm going to do is, because every other question requires me to take something out at the very beginning, I'm going to do exactly the same thing for this question as well. I see there's an x in every line, so what does that mean I can do? So what's left over then? X squared, squared plus... X, y. Yeah, plus... Four, yeah. Plus 4y. Excellent. Okay. Now, the next thing we're going to do here, guys, is uh, just concentrate on the uh, the yellow section. Okay. So, just concentrate on this yellow section here. What can we take out of the first two? X. X into what? X plus y. X plus y. Perfect. After that? 4, four into? X plus y. And what does the red part turn into? X, X plus 4. X plus y. X plus y. And, what's, and we forgot all about our x at the start, didn't we? So that's the answer for question 13. How many people uh, would have got that show of hands, please? All right, good job. Very good job. Well done. Now, shh. in the same way, question 16 seems to be doing something very similar. If you look at question 16, it's 4PPQ minus 10PR minus 10PQ plus 4 P P R. What, what, what letter is in every single one of them? P. P. Yeah, P? P. Perfect. So take out P and we're left with 4 P Q minus 10 R minus 10 Q 4 P R. Okay, now we're going to have to think ahead of ourselves here. We're just once again, we're just going to focus in on the yellow part. Just the yellow part, that's what we're focusing in on now. What is there anything in common in the first two factors? The first two numbers? Anything I can take out? Two. I could take out two, but there's no real letters, is there? No. So let's try something else. Let's try 4PQ next to 4PR. 4PR. Q leads R. So see the way I've used up the two of these? What are the only two I have left? Uh, and minus 10q. Which one should I put first and why? Yes, sir. Minus 10q. Why did I put have to put that first? Q leads R. Yeah, perfect. Now, there's about four or five different ways you can do this question at this at this, point, at this time. Now, what do we have next, guys? What comes out? 4p. 4p. Leaving over. Q. R. More than likely, the next one's going to be a q plus R as well, isn't it? What's in here? Minus 10. ten. Finish it off. Four P minus ten. And Q plus R. And we forgot all about the P at the front. Perfect. This is question sixteen. 
I've already done uh, 13 and uh, 10 and 13 already, so I'm on a uh, 16th round. Yes, sir. Hey right, guys, uh, somebody just noticed that in the bottom one here, this one is factorizable by two, two which actually means at the very beginning we actually should have took out two p. So it just shows you, even though you don't do it at the start, doesn't mean you can't fix it at the end. So it's going to be p times two times two p minus five times q plus r. And what can I do with the p and the two? Two p. Combine it to make two p. Okay, uh, we have a question about that one. Let's pause it. Now, question 19. What do they have in common? So you have 3xxx minus 12xyy. So what do you reckon, sir? What can you take out? Uh, 3x. Good man. Take out the 3x and what's left over? x squared minus? 4y uh, squared. Excellent. Now, uh, what do we know is about this question here? We've seen tons of them. What is it? The difference of two squares. So how do we do that? Plus 2y. Two two and? And x minus 2y. And you're done. That's 19. Done and dusted. Ready to move on? Okay. Next thing. Three students. Uh, Anne, Brendan and Coleman were asked to factorise this. Their, their three answers were this one here, this one here, and this one here. Are all the answers correct? Justify your answer. Well, if we multiply them back out, what happens? Yes, sir? And you get 4x minus 4x. Sorry, 4x minus 4x. Yeah, you're going, the, uh, you're going to get the correct answer, aren't you, when you multiply it out? See the way it's exactly the same? Multiply this one out. What you get? 4x squared plus 4x minus 8x minus 8. And it's going to be exactly the same answer, isn't it? Mm. And the third one? 4x squared, 4x minus 8x minus 8, and then 4x squared minus 4x minus 8. Is everybody happy that no matter what way I presented it, they all multiplied to give the correct answer? That means they're all correct. Okay? Why can't one quadratic trinomial have three different uh, factorizations? Uh, the reason for that is you can choose uh, where where you want to place your see the way it's divisible by four see the way it's actually if we were to do this ourselves guys right i'm going to do this the way we, we, we learned how to do it earlier on i'm going to take out four straight away what's left over minus one x minus two i'm going to factorize that but i'm going to do it really quickly okay it's going to be x minus two x plus one you have a choice you can multiply in the four here can't you and what would your answer be 4x minus 8 into x plus 1 is that correct yeah it is correct yeah okay or instead of multiplying the four by the first one what could i do instead multiply it by there Second one, and what answer would that give me? Four. X minus two into? Four. Yeah. That answer there, isn't it? That makes sense? Oh, yes. And what happens if I put this the opposite way around? Remember three multiplied by four is the same thing as four multiplied by three. What happens if I flip it the opposite way around? I'll get this answer here. The two of them are the same answer, aren't they? Does that make sense? Now, what happens if I go again? What happens if I don't use, a, use it as a four? What can I break up four into? Can anybody tell me? Two. I can break fours up into? Twos. Twos. Perfect. Who said that? Good man. So what I'm going to do with the four? I'm going to change it into a two and a two. two. What happens if I use a two on the first one? What do I get? Two. Minus. Minus. Well, so we use a 2 on the second one. Yeah. And see the way all the answers are they're all the same, aren't they? Which one is said to be factorised completely, though, that there's nothing you can take out of it? Can you take anything out of 2x plus 2? Yeah. 
Take out 2, can't you? Not fully factorised. Can you take anything out of x minus 2? No. Can you take anything out of x plus 1? No. That's fully factorised. Can you take anything out of 2x minus 4? Yeah. Take out a 2, can't you? Yeah. So not fully factorised. Everybody happy with that? Yeah. Hope so. We'll look at it again later on. Yeah. Now, square it out, simplify. How do you square out the first part, uh, Thomas? This part here. It's 5x minus 3 by 5x minus 3. It's the same bracket twice. That's what squared means. 4 squared would mean 4 multiplied by 4. A, a rectangle squared would mean whatever's in the rectangle multiplied by whatever's in the rectangle. Okay? So, uh, Keen, what's next? 5x five, five by 5x. 25x squared. After that? Um, 16x. Yeah. Yeah. Minus 9. Uh, 2 minuses. Plus 9. Come on, take away. 4. What's next? 25x squared minus. Oh. Minus 15, minus 15. Uh, oh, oh, minus 30. 9 minus 4? 5. Is there any number they all have in common? 5s. So what's left over then? 5x squared, yeah. Yeah. Plus 1. Then after this, what happens next? I have to attack the, uh, the yellow part, don't I? What number will I give them? 5 times 1? Five. 2 numbers that multiply to give me 5 but add to give me minus 6. Minus, five. Minus, five. Minus, five. Yeah. minus 5 minus 1. Happy with that? So I'm just going to break up this part. 5x squared minus 5x minus 1x plus 1. What's next? 5x into? Five. x minus 5. Oh, not x minus 5. x minus 1. Minus 1 into minus 1. What's next? 5x minus 1. What did I forget about? Everybody happy with that? Okay. Okay, next one. Okay. Uh, what I have here, guys, is 2x by 4x, ax squared. 2x by 2a, minus 4ax. A times 4x, 4ax. A times minus 2a, minus 2a squared. See that minus in the middle? Remember, did I tell any of about this? What's minus 4 bracket 3? What is minus 4 bracket 3? It's minus 12, isn't it? Multiply the two of these first, and whatever the answer is, multiply it by minus 1. What I'm going to ask you guys to do is I'm going to ask you guys to multiply the two brackets first and then multiply by the minus afterwards. Let's see what happens. So it's minus brackets. This to indicate that we're going to multiply by the minus. So what do we get then, guys? 3y by 6y? Yes, it is 18y squared. 3y by minus 2a? A by 6y? 6ay. A by minus 2a? Now, shh. The 4ax and the 4ax will cancel. The 6ay and the other 6ay will cancel. However, there is a trick here. See the minus 2a squared? What happens to this minus on the outside? This guy here. The most important minus there. What happens? It multiplies the plus 18y squared into a minus 18y squared. It multiplies the minus 2a squared into what? A plus 2a squared. And all of a sudden, they're gone. And then we're left with this. Now, what can I take out? Two. What's left over? 
4x squared and 9y squared. What is this known as? The difference of 2. So what is it? 2x and? Plus 3y. You square root the 4x squared and you square root the 9y squared. What's the next part? Minus 3y. And we're done. Uh, so are you the question?